It's on the lips of many an Avatar fan and in the keystrokes of many a fan site. Zuko is getting a new movie. Is it really confirmed? Why is Zuko getting a solo movie in the first place? And as the title itself dares to ask, just what is the story of this film going to be? You'll find out the answer to all of these questions and more if you stick around till the end of this video. Now then, let's get started. Before anything else, is Zuko truly getting a film all of his own? For a long while, this was purely a speculation speculative idea. We knew that some CG animated Avatar The Last Airbender films were in production, as this was announced in early 2021. However, this came with very specifics and even now, we don't know the title of any of these films. The main detail was that the first would, as you'd expect, follow the original characters, which would be read generally as the main protagonists of the show, into their years as young adults. However, it was also said that two other such films were in the works, and this sparked the idea of the series' most favored primary antagonist turned hero getting his own movie. This was the hope, but it was actually up in the air for some time as to whether or not that was going to be true. It was only recently made clear by an announcement from series creators Brian Konietzko and Michael Dante DiMartino that one of the solo movies would center around Avatar's Kiyoshi and Korra, and the other, indeed, would be about Zuko. Rejoice, all ye who worship the fiery, misunderstood, brooding edgelord. I know it's plenty of you, and let's be honest, eh? We've got something of an edge to ourselves. Still, other details remain scarce, such as when any of the three films will be released. Not even a range has been out yet, but I think in general expect the first movie to come out within the next year. We also don't know the order of the two solo films just yet. Stay tuned, as we'll no doubt be talking about these films again in the future when we learn more. But let's have ourselves a little talk about what we do know. We know Zuko is getting a film, so that raises a few questions. The first of all being a very simple one. Why? Why is Zuko worthy of a solo film? What makes him so special? Okay, okay, we know most long-term fans aren't really questioning this. But just for the sake of argument here, humor us. Why Zuko over the dozens of other iconic characters from the Last Airbender franchise? To be frank, it seems one of the most surefire ways to make an interesting and enduring character is to take a villain and have them slowly morph into a hero. That's what you have in Zuko, someone who was raised to be ruthless and violent, but eventually learned the error of his ways and sought to repent. The redemption arc will always be an effective one as long as it's given the proper time to develop organically, and so long as the shift to the light side is properly motivated. Plus his dynamic with his fellow fan favorite firebender, Uncle Iroh, a man many wish were their own uncle, is another much beloved part of the show. Of course Iroh is sadly not of our world in the more modern Avatar stories, but even that hasn't kept him from brightening up scenes every now and again, so he may well feature in the film himself. Now, about the plot of the film. Is this going to be a completely original film or a retelling of old works? In the 17 years since the premiere of Avatar, The Last Airbender. Oh, hold on. Let's just give you all a moment to recoil and feel your age for a moment at the sound of that. <laughs> Sorry, shouldn't have just dropped that so willy-nilly. Gosh, where does the time go? We all good now? Okay then. Well, in that time frame, there has been no shortage of spin-off material for the franchise, the most successful of which being the actual spin-off TV series, The Legend of Korra, the titular character of which is in the other aforementioned solo movie. But other material also contribute to the canon of Avatar, such as the three books released in recent years, styled as in-universe diaries created by major characters, as well as the role-playing game titled Avatar Legends, the, uh, the role-playing game. That last one actually served to create a lot of new lore, including giving a sort of broad timeline for Zuko's life. There was also a live-action film, you know what? No, there, there wasn't. That doesn't count. But in theory, they could have just based the new movie off of what we know from these materials, or more broadly retell events from the show. But they've made it clear that they have no intention of rehashing old material. All indications are that this movie will focus on the future for these characters, and not the past, and will have all new stories of their own to tell. And with that being the case, it begs another question. A question that just so happens to be in the title of this video. Just what will Zuko solo film be about? I mean, it'll be about Zuko, obviously. Thanks, smart Alec. But seriously, just what will the plot be? He's in a very unique place in the Avatar universe, and there's honestly a lot of different ways you could go with this story. That's part of why people were
were excited for the idea in the first place. So, next we'll be diving into a few possibilities for the plot. Maybe it's going to center on the rise of the Dancing Dragon style. Among the top speculative suggestions about this mystery movie, the Dancing Dragon style is often brought up. This technique is a special type of firebending that is taught to aspiring benders by none other than the dragons. Uh, just for clarity's sake here, dragon does not refer to some kind of special class of martial arts master or whatever. We literally mean dragons. They breathe fire, you see, and as such, they're the original firebenders. When Zuko's firebending powers waned due to the loss of the rage that had fueled him, he and Aang journeyed to learn of this ancient craft en route to proving themselves worthy of learning the true meaning of firebending from the Sun Warriors. Learning this technique made Zuko into a more powerful warrior than ever, even enabling him to finally face off against his sister Azula in an even fight. It was naturally a big thing to Zuko, who, as revealed in the previously mentioned Avatar Legends, spread this technique in mass after becoming Fire Lord, making the Dancing Dragon style mandatory in schools. But incredibly, he was able to do this while still keeping the existence of the Sun Warriors a secret. The question as to how is a burning one, pardon the pun, and could well be something that the movie addresses. Might we see the return of the Blue Spirit? Another thing that's been brought up in relation to the new film is Zuko's old alter ego, the Blue Spirit. This guy's was born out of a very unique circumstance. He donned the blue demon mask and wielded a pair of dual broadswords, eschewing his firebending skills for the sake of protecting his identity, as he went on a mission to rescue the Avatar from the clutches of Zhao. This was, of course, because he needed to be the one to kidnap Aang and take him to the Fire Lord himself. But that is neither here nor there. From then on, whenever he was in need of anonymity, he would don the disguise. If the movie based on Zuko is going over his time as a Fire Lord, as the other theory also speculates, then it'd be pretty hard for him to do much of anything without people hounding him everywhere he goes. That's naturally going to be a pretty famous guy, to say the least, especially within the Fire Nation. So the idea is, if he needs even the slightest bit of privacy, he'd probably require some kind of disguise, since only Aang and Zhao seem to be aware of his secret identity. He might well need to take on the blue demon mask once more for the sake of a secret mission. Or, you know, maybe just use it as his equivalent to the usual wide-brimmed hat and sunglasses that a celebrity of our time would use to dodge the paparazzi. It's a pretty rare sight for being such a fan-favorite concept and belonging to such an iconic character, so it'd be a pretty fun treat to bring back in a major way for this Zuko-focused solo film. So, is the blue spirit gonna be making a comeback? We think there may just be a ghost of a chance. And that is all the time we have for today's video. What do you think about the new upcoming Avatar The Last Airbender films? Are you excited to see what awaits Zuko in this new adventure? Were there any other characters you were hoping would get the spotlight instead? What do you expect the three films' plots to be? Be sure to let us know down in the comments below. And until next time, thanks for watching.